hey YouTube it's been long no videos so today I'm gonna show you how to get basic info how to use a uh, Facebook API we call it Facebook graph API so let's get started first thing you need to do is you have to download PHP graph SDK from Facebook developer so let's go to developer.facebook.com <coughs> and then just go to doc in document and then go to download PHP SDK you we gonna we gonna be able with uh, PHP SDK in web develop so let's go to through and then click download you will see something like this after that you just copy only uh, Facebook folder and then just delete the PHP graph SDK you have only P Facebook folder SDK and then let's create one app okay add a new app so call uh, in full in basic info okay let's choose uh, entertainment create app and then just start the capture yeah you ready to go okay let's uh, active your app you will have confirm app and yeah you have an app so you can integrate with you can build with Facebook app you have app you have folder uh, you gonna need to do next is let's see my first sample I have in my domain as dot net dot slash dot net slash ATN studio when I click login I'm gonna see my first my full name because I log as my Facebook name so I'm what you need to do you gonna uh, upload your folder your Facebook SDK and then just write a little bit of code like this you upload your file you call it Facebook auto load PHP it have in a Facebook folder and then <coughs> call your Facebook uh, your app app ID this is your app ID and okay your secret this is app secret just pass it into your app secret and version default by 2.8 and yep person for basic information just optional and then you need to call get direct log login helper for web they have for facebook canvas or in, uh, mobile redirect but we use web so we call we need to use get direct login helper and then we get after that we clear asset token to get asset token every user that log in with our app so after they have uh, asset token we can request filter get data from it for example I want to get let's go to to graph for example I want to get uh, yep, ID name and then I'm gonna get uh, gender I'm gonna get uh, let's see okay email yep email mm. okay picture my profile picture 
my koa yep i get everything what i need this one and this one this is my koa this is my profile picture you just paste it into your code just like so yep yep ID name gender koa and then you need to call as a token that we get from when user login we get access to token after we get access to token we can pass it as a token this is I got a curl PHP curl so you can use it also like if you want to use it just go to like this and get code and you can use it with PHP also like this but I used curl so I need to get this one and then call some code and I will return for example I will return mm, visa ID okay name ID name ID and okay fear just like this I forgot fear Sorry for that. Let's pass here so like so. Mm -hmm. After that, you got it's like this. You have ID, you have name, you have picture, you have okay, you have koa. So if you want to separate, uh, let's have, okay, my name, for example, my name, visa, name, and you have my image, my profile, or my cover. yeah okay you have ID you have koa ID source okay koa and source so you call it koa and source so let's remove this one Let's restart it again. Yep. This is my name. This is my resource. Let's call it in IMG. Let's call it like this. And then SOC equal. Then, uh, Sauce. Okay. You will gonna see my name and my foot, my koa. Sorry. Okay. 
cost the end one more. Yep, this is my name, this is my cover. You can get everything you need, just go to graph and then pass your code, get code and pass code. You can use this one or you can use curve, but I think I recommend you guys to use curve. That is a perfect because you are. Yeah, that's it for today. Next video, I'm gonna show you how to get advanced information and